Saw you down the motorway There was something about you that day I can still hear the shimmer Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today, I just got back from school. There's a few things that I need to get done really. So the first one is I thought that we could cook a shepherd's pie together. Second thing is um, I'm taking my sisters to a tulip patch. We're also going to be going to B&M and picking up a few bits because there is a couple of things in there that I really love so we're going to do that as well. So if that's something that you guys want to see it's going to be lovely to have you around. Okay, so to make the shepherd's pie, you basically need some potatoes, some carrots, some peas, but I don't have peas, so we're gonna skip that step. Onion, garlic, a stock cube. Now, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. A beef stock cube, some mints, and yeah, that's basically it. You can add wine if you'd like, but. We'll see how I feel. So first job is to peel the potatoes and pop them into some boiling water and obviously peel the carrots as well. So let's get on to it. Okay, so you're gonna let these boil first and then you can cook the carrots, um, well, cut up the carrots and the onion. Okay, so I've just put in one cup of red wine. Now you can skip this option if you don't want the red wine in there, um, but I personally just like to add a bit of red wine and then just let it all simmer up. The magic to get the top all crispy is to get an egg and basically put the egg on top of the potato. Then when you put it in the oven, it will like go brown and crispy on top. So this is the magic ingredient. Okay, so while dinner is cooking, um, I just wanted to show you a couple of bits that I've picked up from B&M. So the first two bits that I picked up are these ribbed glasses. Um, I've actually been looking for some of these for a while. Um, so they do these in obviously clear and you can get them in black as well. Uh, and I was thinking just as like bedside table glasses, I think they are just so lovely. So they were £2.50 each so I picked up two of those. I also picked up, which I've also been looking for, a carafe. Now, the, it actually was, it didn't have a cork lid, but it says that it's supposed to have a cork lid. So I just took it from um, the darker glasses in there and just popped it on because it says it's supposed to have one, but I don't know where they've gone. Someone might have taken them off. I have no idea. So I just picked up this and I also got the Zaflora Lemon Zing. So there was a pink kind of like flowery scent, but when I smelt it inside the shop, I just wasn't that key on it. But I just think lemon, you can't go wrong with lemon scent, can you? So picked up the lemon one and again, I just think that is just going to be so nice. I picked up some batteries and just some random things. Um, but I just really wanted to show you these because I think they're definitely good for the price. So if you were looking for something similar, then B&M is the place to go. I know 
I've changed again. But <laughs> I've changed because I need to uh, get ready <laughs> for obviously going tulip picking, but I currently don't know what to wear, so you know, currently having this switch through. But it just looks so delicious. I'm gonna put it into different pots so that I can have it next week when I'm at school. But yeah, this is the most delicious shepherd's pie in the world. Okay, so here is the finished product. And it's delicious. I have with me today Ella and Olivia. I can't see. We're in a tulip field, so it's pick your own tulips. I've, we've never done this before, have we? Mm -hmm. no, but no, look no. how cute and adorable they are. I can't even. It's gorgeous. Saw you down the motorway There was something about you that day I can still hear the shimmering sound The hill is near, let's get right up Walk up to... Which one's your favourite, Ella? Totally so far, it would be probably the orange one The orange one? Tell me why that's the favourite Well, my favourite colour is orange and it's just very pretty and it shimmers in the sun this is my new favourite of y'all. Your fingers and you stay. I don't ever wanna be alone again. Despite all, all you're my best friend. Okay, we're on the way back now. Yay. We've got our flowers. Here they are. Voila, just sniff them. <laughs> So we've just come from Ashover Farm, which is, they do their own pick your own tulips, pick your own um, sunflowers when there's sunflowers and uh, pumpkins as well. So we've just picked our own tulips and what do you rate your experience? A 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Why? Because normally I've not went like flower picking ever. Yeah, it's so lovely, isn't it? And we went like uh, after work. So it was actually really peaceful and quiet and it was such a nice day as you saw. But yeah, definitely if you've got a tulip patch near it, near yourself, then go and have a look because it's really a lovely experience. Mm -hmm. 